So during our advance towards the Op 4 LZ Connor in our efforts to take out their uh, helicopters there, it looks like we have uh, encountered an enemy patrol, uh, no doubt heading for the Op 4 resting area here along the road. They've, uh, they've been trying to put some fire onto our guys. I had my guys uh, go inside this little uh, depression to, uh, to kind of keep them off of us. In the meantime, I'm just going to try to inch forward. Yeah, they are watching us. What I think I'll do is uh, I will uh, get us our guy to pull out his uh, his secondary scope, which has the uh, the red dot on the top, making it possible for us to uh, engage these guys in close quarters combat without the uh, penalty of having a improper scope. Gonna let Team AI cover that direction for now. Get our guys Seven, to eight. fire at will. Fire at Out will. of ammo. Yeah, we're Out of really ammo. close next to the enemy. Don't have any grenades though, unfortunately. Are we fine? Reloading. AT soldiers, 75 meters front. Form file. Hostile down. We got a man down. Machine gunner, 75 meters, front! Copy my stance! Let's see who we lost. We lost one guy, didn't lose the AT guy, so uh, we should be fine. Really rather intense. I see, oh crap, there's like four of them just behind the ridge. You know what? Here's what we'll do. We'll get everybody to stop. Stop! Roger! No, 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 don't stop there. Mm. Move right! On mm. the way! Oh, please don't stand up. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm afraid of. They're starting to throw Contact, frag grenades. Rifleman. It's exactly what I was thinking of doing onto them, but I don't usually carry grenades, unfortunately. So we are going to have to strip you, my friend. We're going to have to take everything you have. Explosives specialist. You should actually have plenty of grenades. What's in his bag, too? Bah, more is mines and stuff so all right two people still alive they're just going to stay where they are i need some help here no i'd assume he's dead by now but i'm not sure well he stopped firing so i guess he is Yeah, this is what happens when you ask uh, strategy games folk to start shooting at things. It doesn't work out very well. Medic! Um, we're gonna treat ourselves here with a little bit of a little injection, so that'll keep us alive. And now we need to peek back up once more. Probably should have done this uh, some time along, some time ago. Okay, well, take another look around. That guy is most likely, yeah, he's dead. But there's definitely another one around here somewhere. Hmm. Just you and me, Burr. Just you and me. Very, very nicely scripted mission. I've got to say, these guys are coming from all directions once uh, once your little hornet's nest has been stirred. So that is very nice. Uh, very, very close on the uh, on the losses and whatnot. Still one more person over there. Rifleman, 100 meters, front! The problem with playing uh, the game on like higher settings is that you have all the grass where, uh, you know, playing on the lower settings I could get rid of all of this grass. Makes uh, shooting a lot easier, that's for sure. Yeah, 
definitely a lot of people over there. And they are all stirred up. It looks like they called for reinforcements. There's a second squad here. I'm not sure if that's only three guys. One guy's apparently facing us. Rifleman! 200 meters front! Soldier! 200 meters front! Target down! Now our guy is injured and tired. And oh my god, did we clear out all of them yet? I dare say that that is all of them. Yes, we have lived through this ambush. <laughs> Let's try and see if we can complete the mission. If we do fail with just uh, me and Burr over here, we're just going to continue Seven, on to back. the next one. Seven, so we've had a well, we've had a pretty challenging time already. So uh, my plan is to just kind of follow clear. the coastline and get into this uh, little valley area and really push up through the hills over here. But let's see how that goes.